If you've ever wanted to make Football Manager more realistic, then this is the video for you. Over the course of the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be guiding you through some simple downloads that take a few button clicks that can change your game from what is already, of course, a very realistic management experience to another level. It's all going to be very easy to follow and I'll be showcasing some of my favourite add-ons along the way. So even if you're someone that doesn't like the sound of mods and downloads and thinks it sounds scary, don't worry, it's all very, very simple. Before we get into it, my name is Jake for FM Scout. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button for us and hit the subscribe button. It really does help us out here on the channel. But don't worry, we won't waste any more of your time. What you're seeing right now is an article that will be linked down below. If you click that, you'll be taken to the FM Scout webpage. And on here, this is going to act almost as a hub, if you like, for all of the different downloads that you can choose for your saves to make it feel more realistic and a more lived in football manager world. Now, I'm going to scroll down very quickly. Each one of those icons that you'll see here is a different download. Straight away, I want to let you know, you do not have to download all of these. You can download one, you can download 10, you can do whatever you like. Choose the ones that suit your preference, that sound cool and give them a go in your save. I'll be showcasing some of my favorites. And if you stick with us in this video, at the end, we're going to talk about three very special links that you can find on this page that are going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to making this game more realistic. Before we showcase the first one, I will let you guys know that there are going to be updates to this web page as time goes on. So if you're looking at this a few months down the line, you'll probably see some more options than what I'm showing you here. But let's start with the top. Now there's different things that you can add to your game to make them feel like a more realistic management experience. Some of those will be alterations to how the menus look in game. Some might be how the game looks when it actually comes to playing a match. And other things are going to affect the game world itself to increase that sense of realism. But one of the first ways that you can make things more realistic is with these downloads here that are for your GUI or your graphical user interface if my computer knowledge is good enough. You've got the trophies mega pack and the competition's true colour fix. The trophies mega pack will add real trophies to your game. I'll show you that in a couple of seconds and the competition's true colour fix will do exactly as it says on the tin. It fixes the colour of certain competitions and emphasis on European divisions and cups. Now say you like this download or like the sound of it, you can click it and it will take you to a web page where you can learn more. Usually there'll be some screenshots as well of how it's going to look in game. So feel free to go to this web page and click around into some of these different things to check them out. But the Trophies Mega Pack is always one of my favorites and I'll show you if you download that, what it will look like in your game. Here we are with Fenerbahce in a rebuild that I did on my channel, which by the way, if you enjoy FM content, feel free to come check that out. It's linked in the description down below. Past some of these article links, you'll find a link to my channel. Um, but yes, you can see here that we have got realistic trophies at the bottom of the screen. If you didn't have this Mega Pack installed, it would just be a generic trophy template, but we've got everything from the Super League itself to the Turkish Prime Minister's Cup. Some of them they're not going to have icons for, but most of the trophies in the game will be updated. If we go to a club in England, say Coventry, for example, then you've got the FA Cup here. You've also got the Third Division South. This is the Papa John's trophy, I think, the EFL. And it just adds an extra sense of realism to the game when you're seeing these trophies. Imagine if all of the trophies look like this. They definitely don't look anywhere near as cool as the ones where we have the real trophy image in the game here. It's a very simple download. I'm not going to show you how to download every single one of these files because that will be a whole long video, waste of your time. But don't worry, each of those links will give you some kind of description of how to download the file and install it. And if you are confused, there's plenty of videos and articles out there about how to install certain things. But yes, most of those articles, if not all, will have a description of exactly what you need to do with the file to make it work. And nine times out of 10, don't worry, it's just a case of hitting download and then dragging that file into a certain area on your PC and then it will all work very easily. So that's a basic way that you can make FM feel a bit more lived in and a bit more realistic just by changing the way certain things look. And that also applies to the in-match engine. Now there's two downloads currently in the match day experience section. You've got Fez as enhanced turf textures and also the audio match commentary by Mets FM. A big thank you, by the way, to any of the creators behind any of these different downloads that we're showing. But yes, they are exactly what you would expect they would be. The Fez as enhanced turf textures is going to give you a new enhanced look for the grass when you play in the in-game engine and the audio match commentary gives you in-game commentary like you're in a FIFA match or you know an actual real life football match would be a better comparison I suppose but if you've played FIFA you know what I mean there'll be someone talking as you play and the audio match commentary tries to do a similar job of this using pre-recorded voice lines and whatnot so if that's something that you think could be interesting give it a go see what it's like if you don't like it you don't have to use it but it's all very easy to install again just by downloading this you aren't suddenly going to turn into Pep Guardiola put a suit and tie on and go manage a real life match, but it will hopefully help your FM game feel a little bit more alive.
five. And if you're thinking that's one way of making something more realistic, another way is to make the game more challenging because of course, the amount of times that you win in FM is probably a lot more than you would in real life. And there's some things you can do to make the game feel a little bit harder. Now there's two skins here that you can download, the Statman skin and the Musterman iconic skin. It will change the way that your game looks when you load it up into the menus and whatnot. And when you look at players, it'll be more realistic to real life because you'll no longer have the one to 20 attribute numbers for every single section of a player's game. Instead, you'll be given some kind of graphical representation of how good a player is. And by doing so, it's nowhere near as clear whether a player is better than another player straight away. And you're gonna have to put a bigger focus on data and what you see with your eyes really over those attributes that you're normally given. So if that sounds interesting to you, as it says here, it's really gonna change the way you interact with Football Manager on the whole. Now, if you don't like those skins, but you still like the idea of maybe not being able to see a player's attributes, then there is a guide on how to do it here. As it says, you don't need any kind of skin knowledge, just a simple guide that if you follow, you'll be able to hide the attributes in your game, which will make things a lot more realistic because you won't know just how good a player is. Then you get onto the license and things. Obviously, these are things that most of you might have added to your game already. When you play Football Manager, when you look at certain teams, they don't have the real life names because Sports Interactive, the creators of the game, don't have a license for it. But with this simple real name fix, which there's a whole video about how to install that on the channel already, you'll get your game looking like this. Normally, if you go to the Brazilian division in Football Manager, all of the team names are going to be abbreviated free initials because they don't have the licenses for the Brazilian teams. But here you can see we've got Flamengo, Fluminense as well there, Corinthians, all names I've probably butchered a pronunciation of, but that's what you can see with that license and fixing game. Just quickly changes the names of some teams across the world. It's not just Brazil. And it's something that me and a lot of other players do as soon as they get their new copy of Football Manager. Again, there's a video about how to do this and a whole description on the web page if you actually go to download the real name fix. So don't worry, it's not complicated at all. And this web page that we're giving you here has so many other great downloads in it as well. There's a transfer update. So when transfers happen in real life, you can get that update in the game. So particularly that's handy when the January transfer window comes around. Pro and the team at the FM Transfer Update website, they do a brilliant job of monitoring transfers so you don't have to wait for updates in the actual real game to get these players moving clubs to where they are in real life. There's downloads that will help adjust club finances and club transfer preferences. There's even mods that will increase the realism of sponsorship values and other monetary things within Football Manager. As you can see here, this has a special note at the bottom though that says part of Dave Insid's Realism Mega Pack and we'll talk more about that a little bit later on because that is something that is great that you can get out there. Now I could go through and mention every single one of these downloads but as I say it's always going to be changing and there's so much to get through but one of the things that I think massively enhances your game are these leagues mega packs here. One is by Timo and there's another one here as well by Quirt2. What these will do is when you download them they will have some extra playable nations that you can then import into your game very easily done. There's lots of nations in Football Manager that you can't actually manage in and by adding these extra leagues as playable nations in game, it will really add to that realism, particularly if you're starting some kind of journeyman save where you're taking a job in different divisions, because instead of starting, you know, in the Welsh divisions, you might start in the Andorran second division or something that you never would have expected. So if you want to add more leagues to your game, that's a great way to do it. And also, if you want to play in a specific league that isn't in the game, there's a chance it might be in one of these mega packs. Again, we've got plenty of other different updates, changes to agents, alternate youth ratings that accurately reflect real life a little bit better than than they do currently in Football Manager. So like I say, there are plenty of downloads and I really suggest going to this hub and looking through the different ones on there and seeing if there's anything that takes your fancy. But there are three packs listed at the bottom here that I wanna finish off with that I really like. Firstly, it's the Realism Increase Mega Pack by Dave Insid. We will show you that here. What this is, is a bunch of different changes that can all be downloaded with one single download and then you can then tick them on and off within Football Manager. Currently, the December version of this update includes alternate youth ratings and game importance changes, club data fixes, finance fixes, weather changes, and that's only counting a few that are in there. And it does mention there's going to be more updates to this later on, including one in January. So updates are coming soon for this download pack. So there's plenty of things that can affect your game, some of which are going to have a very minor influence, but will really add to the detail of the Football Manager world. So I'll quickly download this and show you how you can choose some of these files in game. So here we are in Football Manager. We have downloaded the Dave Insid's file pack and 
then we have put them into our editor data folder. If you don't know how to do this, feel free to search online, but in pretty much all of those pages, as mentioned, there'll be a description of how to do this. But then when you go and start a new game in Football Manager, and it does have to be a new game, unfortunately, a new save file, when you go ahead and select career, before you get into choosing your game mode, you will see the database up here, which is normally set to FM24. You can then click this drop down and select any of the data files that you want. If you just want the club data fix and the weather changes, you can do so. If you want all of them, you can do the same. If you want none of them, you just want one, you can do that as well. Once you've done it, just click confirm. And then when you start your game and go through, choose your team and whatnot, those changes will be in place in your save. This one is the transfer and data update pack by the Notorious Pro and FM transfer update. Amongst many other things, the thing that a lot of people download this for is the fact that it will include any transfers that are happening around the world. So if you go to this around January time before the winter update of FM, which is usually February or so, you can have your teams updated with the new players that are signed in January at a click of a button which is obviously great. And we also have the data tweaks for FM24 by Sir Tavares, which is for players and also staff. And like it says here, there's 311 new players slash staff with face backs who are missing from the original database of the game. And as it says here, there's also separate files that you can choose to have, whether that's to reduce the risk of injuries in FM24, remove suspensions and injuries that are there at the start of your game, and even changes to hair and skin color to match reality. It gives the example here of Reese James and Enzo. So now maybe Enzo is going to have the ice white hair that he has in real life. I don't know exactly, but you can see all of these different changes are going to make your game a lot more lived in. Like I've said before, there's some that are going to make it more challenging and some that are just going to keep you in that world for a little bit longer and hold that suspension disbelief that Football Manager provides so well. So there we go. If you want to make your game more realistic, check out some of these downloads. If any of them sounded good to you, let me know in the comments. And if there's any questions about any of these, do let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.